All right, so this $2.7 million, this was just the final push. This is the culmination of decades of faithfulness. Here's 27 balloons, each of these representing $100,000 that we were contributing toward that goal. And as you know, as we were going through this journey, we were popping these balloons, and each, each time that represented another $100,000 in the bank, uh, committed, done. And, but so much more than that, because that was one step closer to freedom, one step closer to, to what Pastor Phil was talking about, to, to dreaming, to, to, to what God has ahead for us. Each balloon, each $100,000, one step closer. So t- last week, as we celebrated the giving today, we get to celebrate some freedom. So even as we celebrate last week and as we worship, please stand, please stand. We're gonna, we're gonna enter in a little bit of time of worship here in a minute, but this is our declaration and our celebration of what God has done. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine. One million. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Two million. Two. Twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, Woo. Now watch this. This was last Sunday as we crossed the finish line together. Let's, what, let's watch what happened this week. Here we go. So exciting. Freedom is happening today. But we are excited about paying off our debt, delivering the last check. We crossed the finish line together on Sunday, April 25th, because we had started together two and a half years earlier, and we just wanted to finish together, give everybody the opportunity to jump in on that special, special moment. I, we know in the kingdom, this is a pivot point and, uh, for our church and our church's story. What a day, what a day, we're here. How exciting! We are paying off <clears throat> our very last payment. We've got the check, ready to pursue the more, ready to dive into whatever God has ahead of us. Yeah. yeah. How are you? Well, how are you? Well, we have something really exciting to drop off today. This has been about a 27-year journey to get to this point. It, receiving this, <laughs> this is our deposit slip, and there's the check itself for $77,298 and 49 cents. There were some extra fees. So, there we go. So. Big congratulations to you. Yeah, thank you so much. It, it tells us that we did it. Oh my, look at that. There's our deposit slip. There you are. Oh, a red stamp paid in full. April 29th, 2021. Woo!
proclaimed by the prophet Joel. And God's gonna pour out his spirit on all flesh. The old men dream, the young men sing. Every man will be set free. Yeah, there's gonna be a revival in the land. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's gonna be a revival.
for so many people. This is a happy day. Amen. This is a happy day. This, our debt is gone. First and foremost, our debt of sin. The price that we deserve because of our sin. But also, Jesus has paid a debt that we couldn't have, any of us couldn't have taken care of on our own. Look at what our God has done through his people. All of you. Uh, we are so grateful. So let's celebrate this happy day. We do one more. Here we go. All right. Woo! All right. Yeah. The greatest day in history. Death is beaten. You have rescued me. Celebrate. Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave. Life eternal, you have won the day. Celebrate. Jesus is alive. He's alive. with his red maracas bouncing around heaven. I'm sure he must have been. Yeah. If you don't know Pastor Carl, during worship, he always had these red maracas that he always would just shake. And uh, uh, it was his vision that started this place. And I'm sure he was up there with his stamp of approval. I'm sure there were a few orderly things we probably didn't do right. But 
I'm sure that he was celebrating with the choir in heaven over what you all have done today. I'm sure. <clears throat> So I want to I want to thank uh, Pastor Carl, Pastor Sherry, Pastor Kevin for their involvement. They were also heavily involved in alumni uh, donations here as well. And I just I just really feel very blessed that we have people like that, a, a legacy that's moved on, but they're still a legacy that's looking back, saying, "What do you need? What can we do? And how can we help?" And they definitely did that to an uh, astronomical number. And and uh, I just it, it it's. It's just neat seeing all of this come to pass, seeing God do a miraculous work. You know, the crazy thing was, is we needed, what, $76,981.01. Somebody told me, hey, I put in the one cent. <laughs> I said, hey, it all, it all adds up. It all adds up. It all adds up. So we needed uh, a little over 70000 and the amazing thing with God is he gave us twice that. We had 140 some thousand dollars at came. Uh, hallelujah, Lord! Woo! You're amazing! I just... I... It, 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 it's literally just incredible. You know, God says, oh, I can do that. And then he just ups you again. Yeah. He goes above, abundantly above and beyond all that we can ask or think. I just want you to know that uh, the, the church did incur a lot of uh, expenses that we didn't put out towards the capital campaign. So these will go towards that. So it's not like it's, a, it's, not like it's oh, we're above and beyond. No, no, we, we need to cover some of these things so that we can do that as well. Um, also, um, it, it, T Pastor Tom said, if anybody wants to keep giving, you're more than welcome. So, um, the other thing that's incredible is not counting all of the 2021 money, all of that, put that aside. We've never counted it into our daily thing. It's all been a separate deal, but it's the first time in the history that I've been here that in, uh, in, uh, starting May that we are not at a deficit as a congregation. So everybody's giving has put us above that. So he's, he's just good, man. He's just good all the way around. I, I, and uh, as some of you saw a van in there that looked a little different, well, we did end up buying a van. Uh, nice van for... Uh, so, so our, our, um, it replaces our 11, our, our, uh, uh, our, our latest van, the, the, I guess the newest van that we had by 11 years, uh, 11 or 12 years. I can't remember. Maybe it's 13 years. I think 2000 is our, is we've, we've made them go a long way. They've been like the shoes and clothes that the Lord made go all of this time. And so we're hoping to, uh, uh, uh rotate those in and out, but, um. Uh, I, I just, I can't, I can't, God is bigger than we can possibly imagine. I don't know how it happened, but God did it. And I just want to thank you again for your faithfulness. We are now going to go and party. So out on the field out there, you're, you, and, and the food is ready for you to go. We've got pulled pork, pulled chicken, there's Caesar salad, there's pasta salad, there's cheesecake, there's all sorts of goodies and stuff and treats for the kids as well. Um, um, so please, I'm going to pray for the food and then I'll dismiss you and pray that you'll come and also feast with us as well. But we want to just thank God, Pastor Kerry. Um, you know, I, we, you know, honestly, it's just all started, you know, this whole notion of, of, uh, you know, Tom started talking about paying off for building, uh, not 10 years ago and we didn't have any, uh, we, we had penalties, we couldn't pay it off. And so Kerry... Um, and about 218 or something, she comes to the board meeting and says, hey, why don't we just pay off the building? And I said, well, why don't we just buy a yacht? I, I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> since we're just throwing stuff out there, why don't we just... <laughs> no, you want to you share? Oh, you can talk in here. I'll get over here. It was just 
cool. I, um, I've watched these guys just be so incredibly diligent and such amazing stewards. And um, I'm on the board of directors. And as I was going over the packet of the last year, I saw that in this year, we, we needed to pay our, or la whenever, <clears throat> June, we had to pay our balloon payment. In and, 2020. And I knew we didn't have that money, so we were going to have to refinance again. And as I went before the Lord, my heart just sunk that we were going to have to go through all of that <clears throat> again. And, and I just, faith rose up in me, just, um, and I'm like, let's just pay it off this time. Let's not refinance it. And I'm just like, we only need this many people to give this much, or this many people to give this much. And I just broke it down and came in. The, it, it was kind of like, yeah, let's buy a yacht. I mean, the first it, first time I brought it up, it didn't go so well. The second time, but then, you know what? The Holy Spirit has a way of just moving, and, and you all got on board. And it was so exciting. And as we saw it just take off and realized that it was our 50th year, it was just so exciting that we all pulled together. And, you know, we kept thinking, oh, there'll be some huge donor. But there, you know, God's never done that in 50 years here. It's always just been the faithful, just digging deep and finding a way. And God poured out his blessings through this well, whole there were, time. There were big donors. I mean, yes, there was a lot yes. of money. But I'm saying they, they're, no, they're no, after the half a million, million dollar donors yeah, in, yeah. in that. But. I mean, so you guys gave amazing gifts. I mean, I, we're not trying to say that no, at all. Everybody is amazing. Our, our, our representative who counseled us said, oh, you'll have these, you know, you'll get four half a million dollar things or, well, if we get four half a million dollar things, I think That's we'll be good. That's it, yep. Anyway, so thank you <clears throat> so happen. much. We are just <clears throat> humbled and honored and so blessed to lead such an amazing people. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Let's pray for the food. Father, we, first of all, thank you for you. You're amazing. You above and beyond, above and beyond, Lord. You're just asking us to dream bigger, us personally to dream bigger and us corporately to continue to dream bigger, Lord, to see what you can do. Father, we thank you for this people. We thank you that you put in your calendar feasting because we need to remember, we need to party, we need to get excited about the things that you did, you did and remember them. And Father, we remember the great work you did on this day in May. Father, we pray now that as we feast, we'd feast unto the Lord with great thankfulness in our hearts, great celebration, Lord, that we are amazed at the God we have the privilege of serving. So thank you, Lord, for giving, for making it happen, and for canceling our debt, the debt of sin and the debt of this building. We just love you. We thank you. We honor you. And we bless you, Father. Let this food now strengthen and nourish our minds and bodies that we can dream even bigger and do more bold things for the kingdom of God. Bless it now to st strengthen and nourish our minds and bodies that we can be better servants for you. And everybody said? Amen. And then they said? Let's eat. Let's eat. Going out the doors. It's all ready. Go, go, go. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun, at the trumpet call, lift your voice, it's a year of jubilee, out of Zion's hill, salvation comes, behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. Thank you.